Paul Manafort's fate is now in the hands of a Virginia jury. Six men and six women began deliberations in Alexandria this morning in Manafort's bank fraud trial. Prosecutors and defense attorneys wrapped up closing arguments on Wednesday with the judge ordering jurors to not communicate with anyone about the trial when they were dismissed for the evening. Prosecutors hope their efforts painted Manafort as a liar and a cheat, while the defense says he made an honest mistake. Manafort has pleaded not guilty to tax and banking fraud charges, faces life in prison if convicted. One America's Neil McCabe spoke to a longtime friend and business partner of Manafort's about the trial. Michael Caputo is a Republican operative and strategist going back to his work in the 1980s for then-Congressman Jack Kemp. For almost as long, Caputo has known and from time to time worked with Paul Manafort, the former Trump campaign chairman, now on trial for tax violations and for failing to file paperwork associated with his overseas consulting. Caputo told me that the Manafort he knows is not the rogue depicted by the Mueller team. I work with Paul Manafort's lobbying firm in the 80s. I've known Paul for a long, long time. I, I've, I've, uh, I've been interacting with him for 30 years. He's a lobbyist, that's true. He's a foreign lobbyist, tr that's true. He also manages foreign campaigns, absolutely legal. All of this is done by Republicans and Democrats alike. For his work in Ukraine, Manafort hired many Democrats, Caputo said. Uh, Paul Manafort managed uh, uh, President Yanukovych's political party and, and electoral aspirations in Ukraine for many years. And to do that, he had to bring in Western experts, including over a dozen Hillary Clinton advance men uh, and two leaders uh, from the Bernie Sanders campaign, all doing completely legal work and doing great work. Caputo said that contrary to the narrative put out by the Mueller team and their media allies, Manafort was cooperating with the Obama administration to push Ukraine towards the West by joining the European Union. In reality, Manafort was working against the interests of Russia and its president, Vladimir Putin. When Yanukovych uh, surprised the entire world by siding with Putin, he surprised Paul Manafort as well. Paul was in touch with the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, working with them to try to pull Yanukovych Toward the, toward the European Union. Caputo also said he knew Mueller star witness Rick Gates very well, but not well enough to know his dark side. I'm actually shocked to find out that he was stealing from Paul Manafort. And when he said it was hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's probably millions. He admitted to having an affair, when then we find out it's actually four. So it looks like he lied to the prosecution about how much money he stole and how many women he was running around with. Paul Manafort was the chairman of the Trump campaign for less than six months, and none of the charges brought against him have any connection to the Trump campaign, except for Robert Mueller, who was commissioned to investigate whether the Trump campaign partnered with the Russian government. If Manafort is acquitted, it is a devastating blow to Mueller and his team. If Manafort is convicted, it is a devastating signal to Republicans that Mueller is free to go after them, regardless of their connection to the Russian collusion hoax. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.